Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips. And just a little while ago, somebody posted on Facebook they would like to have a vector text that they could just real quickly mark stuff all the time. And I searched around on the internet, and you could find one line text, but they're you have to pay for them. And I've got some feelers out with some people and. I maybe shouldn't be doing this video because I think there's got to be an easier way. But I just, I went to DA Fonts and got the thinnest font I could find, which is Softline. And, and it, but it's still a double line, you know, font that's filled. And, you know, you could, you could maybe contour it, but you'd still have two lines and, so I don't know really what the real answer is, but I know if we're going to do this, you're just going to go to object, break text apart, you know, do them all, turn them to convert them to curves, then use your shaping tool and break curve apart. Now this, now I wouldn't think you'd have to do this uh, for the whole for the whole alphabet. But if you were just going to mark something, you could get this done by doing this and uh, just deleting some of these lines and, and kind of making it your own font. Like, you don't need that. You don't need that. Um, you know, just while I'm sitting here talking, I'm going to create the T. And if, if this person was wanting to do what I think they want to do and just have a file where they can mark stuff, and then you could actually, you know, make sure it's right and and uh, put this put this one in the middle. You know, you could play around with it till it's in the middle. But there you go, you've got that letter, you know, already done. I I picked capital letters. Now I'm going to go and um, break curve apart and then weld this together so it is all one piece. But as you can see, it's a it's a hairline and it's a single line, so it should work. Now the E is a little bit harder, and you know, you, but it's the same principle as that T. So I'm going to do the S real quick. And what I would suggest, and, and I'm by far no expert on this because I, I just started doing this on this one. I mean, probably about 20 minutes ago when I saw this. But I would, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Well, take the top one. Well, if you take the top one, you're taking the bottom one on the bottom on the, the, you know, bottom one. So there you already have the S, you know, I would, it's probably broken into sections. No, it's all one piece. Then you could go back and since you use the top, you know, well, grab your indexing bar and, and um, make them all the same size. So you could take that S and make it a little bit wider. And then just always think about if you were doing double letters, you could just get rid of this one and just use the, that T over there again. I actually did it on, uh, those were capitals, these are non-caps, and it was just as easy. Um, kind of looks cool. Anyway, I hope that was what he's wanting, and, and uh, I might post another one if I figure out a, or, or if we somebody finds a font, we'll share that. Thank you, and hope that